Okay, hello and welcome to another video of mine and today we are going to take a look at something which unfortunately is broken but I still think is worth showing because it is basically unused and it has everything which it came with at the original day. Uh, so yeah, this is the JVC ZRD325E mini DV digital video cassette camcorder. I've gotten this to my birthday and um, I've gotten it with a couple of other things from the same person. Not the Nico system, I got mm -hmm. that from a different person. But this person was like, you know, I'm about to throw this away anyway, so because a person knows I like old electronics, they gave it to me. And it is broken, and I'll get into that, but first of all I'd like to show you the box, which even the box is preserved in a relatively good condition still. So, Mini DV is a small video cassette type, and I actually really like it. I have a Sony DCR-PC6E um, Mini DV camcorder, and that's pretty darn great. It does have some issues, unfortunately, so I'm looking into getting another um, mini DV camcorder or if I have the luck I might also get a Hi8 camcorder instead because I actually am a fan of analog but it won't make more sense to buy mini DV because first of all mini DV cassettes are cheaper they're smaller so the camcorders are smaller and um, yeah that's basically the reason for that but and, and one thing which is cool Mini DV usually have CCTV or Firewire or iLink connectors, and um, we have a computer which has that, and we can browse the internet with that, and and upload things to YouTube. So what I might be able to do is get a Firewire cable and then hook it up to that computer, and then I could maybe actually record videos onto the tape-based camcorder. Which would be really cool. Now I would continue to oops. <laughs> use this camera or my other camera which with my other camera I can do 4K but I don't really care about 4K so if you want 4K videos let me know but I'll probably stick to this camera because it actually this one despite it not being 4K has better a better built in microphone and also I think better video quality but uh, let me know so <laughs> anyway I'm getting off of topic here yeah, so here we have some of the features. I can zoom in on that a little bit. It has 25 times optical zoom, which is pretty good. <coughs> it has an automatic mode, which in my opinion, every camcorder should have an automatic mode, but you know, a clear LCD monitor, and I got to admit that this monitor is much better in comparison to the monitor of my uh, uh, Sony camcorder. 800 times close up of pixels. 60 x 9 widescreen mode. And this is kind of funny. This camcorder is much newer and it advertises that. Like, a lot. And my other mini DV camcorder, it's from 2002, also has a widescreen mode. Also, in reality, this cuts off the top and the bottom of the image, but it also has that. And, um, it doesn't even advertise it anywhere. It's just you go into the menu and you're like, recording mode, and then, oh, what's this? And you, uh, you can switch it to 6 x 9 but I don't like doing that. I like 4 by 3 more. Multi-language on-screen display with the menu system. My Sony does not have that. For me it's not an issue because I can speak English. But that is a nice feature if it does have a German menu for people who don't speak English. And a DV, iLink, uh, Firewire, however I like to call it. I like Firewire because it sounds cool. Um, but yeah, there's one of those. There's a the video camera, and on here there's some information, and here's a picture of it, on the front. On the side you have digital video camera, and the provided accessories are an AC power adapter and a battery pack. On the back it says don't forget to pick up a backup battery, which I think is a good idea if you are planning on using a camcorder a lot, like I'm doing it, pick up a replacement battery, also for cameras, I think that's a really good idea to do that. Um, but they have it, oops, they advertise it, of course. Yeah. Again, these things. Data battery, it's sort of like Sony's Infolysium, that the battery sort of communicates with the um, camera, which it also does on this camcorder. However, on the main photo camera, it does not do that. 
Well, I really like this feature because it can show you the real time, the real battery life of uh, your camera. And doesn't this show the bars? For example, on my camera, I'm like, well, like two things illuminate, two of the three things. And I'm like, well, is it gonna die soon or do we still have a lot of battery? And in this camcorder, I can just look that we have 113 minutes of battery left. And it has this, and I really like that feature. My Sony has that as well, and it's really cool. And here's a different battery type. This one just came supplied with the 700 milliamp hour one. It's a power model. At the bottom we have this, whatever it is. And yeah, I would say let's open the box. Up here we have some attention information. I have my my uh, Sony camcorder has this issue with the video noise. However, I did clean the heads and it still has it, so that's the issue with my Sony at the moment. It comes supplied with this, which looks factory because it's like in a bag and everything, but I didn't mention that on the outside. Again, this thing probably has been used, but very lightly, so this might be from the uh, original owner of it. We have the power brick right here. Some information. You can maybe read it if the camera would like to focus today. There you are. See, DC 11 volt output at 1 amp, so it's not that powerful, but it's not too bad either. But I really like how small this is. Like the power brick of my Sony is like this big brick, and this is like the small wall wall adapter thing. Then we have the battery right here, which is completely dead. It doesn't have a single bit of charge in it. I left it charged overnight, and the charge indicator turned off, but it was completely dead. We'll get to this one later. And here we have the German instruction booklet. Oh, it's only in German. And it's guarantee. Or warranty or whatever. Yeah. So I'll put the... Oopsie doopsie. What is going on with me today? I'll put the camera aside. And let's continue on with the camera itself you can see it's basically mint condition and the stickers are still on it you can see the AVC logo digital video camera I think it's kind of funny on my Sony at the bottom it says digital video camera recorder I think that's kind of funny 25 times optical zoom and the automatic button here has a super tiny LCD, or at least it's super tiny in comparison to the camera itself. The LCD on my camera right here is basically as large as the whole camera. It's not as thick, but it's as large. And here we have the controls, we have focus adjustment, uh, night vision, which it doesn't advertise anywhere. And I think night vision is really cool. Especially if you can see like through smoked plastic with it, I think that's really cool. Backlight compensation button and a quick review, which is like a quick rewind. And 60 my Naya mode and the menu button. I do not know what the set data is, so only thing I can imagine like set data if you're on the menu and stuff is okay, it's like you're setting the data. Uh, yeah, firewire connector and we have two panels here. I cannot get these off easily and I don't want to break them. Here's where the battery goes. We have a black and white viewfinder. And here's the DC input. And let's see. Here's the AV output. No S video out. My Sony has a S video output. There's a record start stop mode switch and oh yeah, start stop and the mode switch right here. There's a record mode and a playback mode. Where that cheap little strap here, this is like really cheap. And here at the front we have the built-in stereo microphone. These are probably the LEDs for the uh, night vision and maybe a remote sensor. My Sony has a remote, but I don't have it, but it in theory has one. Here's the lens, which is really tiny. See, this one is actually designed for 16x9, whereas my Sony just has a 16x9 mode. 
Ja, so let's plug it in. And if I would have just gotten the thing, we could do a smoke test, but uh, unfortunately I have it since a little longer now. Can't believe my birthday is already uh, that long ago. So let's plug it in. And uh, I don't know, zoom you out just a tiny bit. I'm kind of afraid because I can't see what's in frame and what's not, that I've missed out on something. Okay, so you can see the Zards indicator. For some reason, it actually comes on and there's no banner installed, so uh, <laughs> that's kind of dumb. Yeah, okay, this turned off. Let's put in record mode. And gives an error in Zerman and says, Unit in safety mode, take out the tape and put it back in. Which you can do. I'll come to that. Uh, error, call, error code 4. And you can see there's the LCD and the camera part itself actually works, but unfortunately you cannot use it for anything. Because this is on the screen no matter what. You can't go in the settings or anything. None of the buttons, not even the zoom lever does anything on this thing. Oh yeah, it's on the top. Yes, zoom lever or volume adjustment and a photo button. And here it advertises 800 times close up of pixels. Sorry for my fingernails, by the way. And it does have a viewfinder. It's a set off. Why did it just set off? It's kind of hard actually getting the viewfinder to work. My Sony uses close the display and then the viewfinder starts to work. And on this one, if you close it, it turns off. The LCD is low resolution, but it does have a good picture. See what happens. Okay, now the viewfinder is working. So I can see it's only black and white. It's not a CRT, it's an LCD, but it's only black and white. You can sort of see in there. And yeah, the issue I have. It's modern, by the way. <laughs> Forget everything. It does have a little locator hole. That is metal. Um. The tape door is stuck, it doesn't want to open. And if you force it, which please don't do this to your camera. I don't care if this breaks. See, it makes a noise as it's going to open, but the tape compartment just doesn't open. And you can take a look inside the mechanism, and you can see that it, or you hopefully can see that it's super clean, like this thing never even saw a tape. It is super clean and see where's the pin swivel? Hey, this thing doesn't have a pin swivel. By the looks of it, this thing does not have a pin swivel in there. Maybe that's the reason why it doesn't work. Yeah, I can't spot a pin swivel or have a pin swivel in there. Hmm. Weird. But the rest of the mechanism also is completely clean. And this is higher quality than the Sony, and the Sony is pushing, it's plastic, and here it's metal. But otherwise the Sony is much higher quality. But yeah, I think that that is the end of the video. Can we do much more? It is broken, but I thought it was worth selling nonetheless. And yeah, you can see, let's, let's install the battery here. It's a good idea to install it while it's running. Let's just find out. Okay, so the battery is installed now, and you can see if it turns off, it turns off. So it unfortunately is dead. Uh, I'll hang on to it for now. I'll probably just give it away for free on eBay or something like that. Because it, I mean, if somebody is an expert of mini DV camcorders, they are probably able to fix it up. And it is mint in the box and. Oh, what was this? And it's otherwise mint as well. And then, you know, we got some stuff since and everything here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I would thank you for watching and I hope to see you uh, in my next video. Goodbye.